everyone who uses marrow has this one single question which is how do i watch the videos in the most effective way and that's exactly what i'm going to be talking about with you guys in this video i have been using marrow for around 3 years now not exactly 3 years but probably let's give it 2 plus years so i can call myself a marrow pro user i've done a lot of trial and error methods i like been through a lot of uh, bad ways of studying and finally i have found this one single way one single effective way to watch every single marrow video i am rohit pivia a third year medical student in madurai medical college and in this channel i make videos about mbbs kind of stuff mainly mbbs and sometimes along with i talk about productivity some of my favorite books and something spiritual as well so if this sounds like a cup of tea then do hit the subscribe button it means a lot to me okay so let's jump straight into the video how to use marrow videos effectively i'm going to be sharing these tips in the form of a story so make sure you stick till the end so that you understand the complete story since you are a productivity guru you wake up early in the morning it's 5:30 you brush your teeth you comb your hair wash yourself use do whatever that you have to do in the morning and take a very good bath and then you sit down open your maro videos and start studying but now you are in a dilemma how do i study in the most effective way because waking up just early in the morning by 5:30 but then not studying in a proper way is utter useless someone waking up at 7 o'clock will definitely go ahead of you if he is doing in a more effective way so you want to know how to study in the most effective way so you take up the video you start listening to them just listening to them passively so listening to the videos passively not doing anything just simply listening to them two days later you forget everything you literally forget the fact that you even watch this video only because it shows completed in the video you even know that you have completed this video but otherwise you have nothing in your mind now stop it get some help don't you find the story super relatable because this is 100% me for the last one and a half years like this exactly has been the feeling i'll be watching some video and then two days later i won't even remember that i watched the video so after a lot of trial and error i have finally found the secret formula that is you actually have to study in an active way like if you are simply just watching the video passively the information is just simply going through one side of your brain and it is leaving in the other side that's it it just goes and that's it boof it's gone your brain will only store the information if it finds the information useful so you have to tell your brain that this information is something actually important so how do you tell that some information is actually important okay for instance i'm going to ask about your most embarrassing moment in your life i can bet that you immediately get the answer you immediately know what to talk about even though you don't actually want to talk about it you know what was the exact embarrassing moment why it's because you have thought about it every single minute of your life isn't it like the embarrassing moments are the moments that will come again and again in your life i sometimes end up talking like a stupid fool to some of my friends and uh, that will like come to me like almost weekly once i'll have the memory of my uh, bad experiences with my friends i am not forgetting the exact incident at all like i know every single word of what i talked on the day who ever came on the day i know everything it's because i am constantly recollecting it so my brain assumes that it is something important mm mm-hmm. mm that is the same concept here as well if you are like constantly trying to recollect it again and again it will definitely stay in your brain but then you can ask me that's a shit ton of information to study how do i constantly recall everything see i am not asking you to constantly recall every single information every single day the only thing is you are watching the video as you watch the video you have to try to also actively recollect what you just watched but how do you do that how do you actually recollect what you have been watching why you have been watching one best way is see what one best way is you can keep the marrow video on the side and you can keep your notes down here so you are like listening to the marrow video for like 5 minutes pass the marrow video you should pass the marrow video and go through the marrow notes now so from the top to the bottom read whatever the mama start through the form of notes and alongside try to recollect for example if she is talking about nasopharyngeal carcinoma if she has been talking about nasopharyngeal carcinoma try to recollect what it is actually about so for now i can kind of feel like that it arises from the fossa of uh, rosenmuller please don't uh, show hate on me from wrong in this yeah it's fossa of uh, rosenmuller actually it's behind uh, eustachian tube 
Uh, so that's the most common place for the arising of uh, NBC. And it's very common in people who smoke. It is like very common in most uh, people who smoke. So I, I remember this. So you should just recollect it. You should recollect. So you're watching the video, then look at the notes, read through the notes once. So it will be like recollecting. Okay, fine. So NPC RS is from Forza of Rosen Muller. It's behind your station tube. There is this uh, thing called as, okay, I forgot that. It's probably Tubus Taurus, uh, Tubus Taurus, I guess. There is this bulge behind the U station tube. Because the U station tube is like, uh, like a hole, right? It's something which goes inside. So when something goes inside, there will be something that's coming upwards on the other side, right? So that's the Tubus Taurus, I'm um, not really sure. And behind that, we have the force of uh, Rosenmuller. So that's the thing. So that's where NPC arises. So you're watching the video, look at the notes, recollect it, and then continue the video again. This might sound super silly, super simple, but it is super effective, trust me, because you can recollect very nicely. And now you have watched the video, gone through the notes, familiarized yourself with the notes, good. Then in another two or three days, go through the marrow Q bag. Please, there is something called the marrow Q bags. I want someone else to remind this to me as well. And I am taking this opportunity to remind this to you as well. There is this thing called marrow Q bang and it is absolute gem. It's absolute diamond. The questions are really good. Uh, I don't really know if it correlates with the need PG, but it's all about the content it gives. It helps us recollect whatever they studied. It asks questions in a quite decent way. So it's very nice to recall. And also Q bank is sort of this information source by itself. There is a lot more information in QBank aside what's given in uh, the videos. So you can use QBank in conjunction with the Marrow videos to increase your information. So alright, you are done with the Marrow videos, you are done with the notes, you are done with the QBank. What next? So you will be having the internal assessments that come up in your college from time to time, right? Obviously you will be having them. So when you have those internal assessments, just go through the notes again. Just read the notes again you will be able to recollect it definitely because if you have gone through the algorithm properly you will definitely be able to recollect the information if there is any missing links if you have forgot something you should uh, obviously uh, read from the notes and uh, upload it in your brain that's it and alongside you have done the marrow cube banks you have got a few questions wrong right you can make a custom module custom MCQ module session with those wrong questions and solve them so this will give you an extra edge so whenever you are solving the marrow cube banks there are these questions that you will get right by mistake. You get me? I mean... Let me put it in a language you can understand. These are the guess answers. You simply guess them. You simply click Inky Pinky Ponky Father as a Donkey and you got option C and it ended up being the right answer. So it will be marked as right answer in the matter of Cuban. But they are actually wrong answers. You didn't actually get them correct. So in, in case of... It's not you who got it correct. It was just some random thing. So you don't actually know that piece of information, but it has been marked as right, which is wrong. <laughs> okay, before this gets any confusing, I'll just say directly, bookmark the guessed question. Just bookmark the various questions that you got, uh, uh, that you guessed and got them correct. So that when you're creating a custom module, you can create a custom module with these bookmark questions and solve them. So you get me, you get the point. So you have to do this so that you don't miss any information in the QBank because QBank is absolutely amazing I wouldn't want you to miss it so Marrow videos, Marrow notes, Marrow QBank familiarize yourself with the notes again you will think that most of them solve custom modules of MCQs of the what are the bookmark questions, the wrong ones that's it done, that's it, that's it, that's how you use Marrow effectively and at the end if you need some more conference, if you want to get more information, you can go over the textbook. Some matter of faculties have given enough content in the videos alone so that you don't actually have to watch anything else. So that goes with ENT. In case of ENT, you literally don't have to watch anything else. You literally don't have to go to any other source. Just complete all the 64 videos of Mario Edition 6 ENT and you're done with ENT. But this is not the same with the other subjects, right? For example, in case of pathology, even if you watch the videos, you still have to go through Robbins. Robbins is the Bible, you still have to go through Robbins. But that's not the case with the ENT. So it depends on the individual subjects. So depending on the subject, you can uh, choose to read the textbook or, or whatever. But I will say that it's better that you read all the textbook because this is the only time that you can actually read your textbook. You will never read these books in the future. Don't ever think that once you become a doctor, you can go through these books. That will not happen. You will be very busy. You will be busy in your life. You won't be able to read. 
so this we are pretty free accept it accept it we are we are quite free even though we brag that as a medical student we don't actually have a lot of time i feel like we have enough time enough time to have fun enough time to go to the gym enough time to study yeah it's it's pretty enough uh, i wish we had some more time to have some fun some more free days uh, but uh, it's fine okay um, i'm i don't regret it it's fine so you can read the book as well so reading the textbook will help you clear the missing links get some more confidence get an extra information and that's it this is all you need to know about how to use marrow effectively and in this video i have talked about the six major marrow mistakes people do not watching this video will be your seventh mistake so definitely check this video out and as always thank you for watching and i'll meet you in this video